Hello there, it's Elizabeth from Norway here with a new uh, series. Uh, it's a new month, so we need to do a new series. And this uh, uh, month I'm going to do a series called Magic and Mystery. And we will start with this uh, beautiful swan from the last release from uh, Lavinia. Uh, and it's a midnight scene and also some woods, of course. <laughs> I love my woods. And this swan, it's so beautiful. It's so, uh, yeah, it's so nice. And it's he's really, or she, is very, very alone on this uh, little uh, lake. But I hope you will uh, join me. Let's have a look at the uh, materials uh, first of all. It's uh, not very many stamps uh, this uh, time. Just the beautiful uh, uh, tree of courage and the tree of hope. I've also used the uh, bull rushes. And this uh, gip, I think it's called gip, and the new swans, of course. And my paper is, as usual, watercolor paper, 300 GSM. Uh, this piece is quite big. It's 15 times 20 centimeters, but you can make it smaller if you like. Uh, my inks, Versafine Claire, of course, Monarch, uh, Pinecone, and the uh, Nocturne. I've used the uh, Monarch for some edging around the card, just to, to frame it a little bit. And I also used um, uh, a Distress Ink uh, Black Soot uh, to make it even deeper. My little finger dobos for the framing and my uh, uh, watercolors. I've used this Daniel Smith Indothone Blue and Carbosol Violet. I really, really do love my uh, uh, Daniel Smith. I'm going to buy some more of those. It's especially that blue one. It granulates so nice. And I have a really big art piece I'm working on uh, with this granulation. Uh, my Winter Newton colors, Indigo, Paints Grey and Burnt uh, Umber. And my brushes, I've used a really big one for the background this time and some small ones. And also my white gouache. It's for the moon and the swan and the stars. And, you know, <laughs> I love my gouache. I've used this template to make the moon. If you don't have it, you can use whatever, the, the moon mask or something uh, something uh, similar. It doesn't really matter. We don't, just need the shape. Uh, pan pastel, titanium white, and this little uh, applicator just to uh, get a shine around the moon. And my favorite castell, um, pastel sticks i never used those oh well very very seldom and i found found that they are really really nice to work with i'm going to use those more some posca pens uh, white and orange and also this uh, silver one for the edging around the card and uh, my pens i've used uh, uniball white and silver this time <laughs> not the gold as i usually do but uh, silver it's it's going to be uh, a moon scene so it, i need some silver some uh, um, uh, pastel pens as well for some uh, shine around the card and also on the swan and because i've used a lot of um, pastel on this piece i need a fixative if you don't have this fixative you can use ordinary hairspray that works uh, just uh, fine so that was all the materials so not many as i said but if you don't have the same materials as i have just use what you have it's all about the technique i want to show you how i did this so i do really hope you will uh, join me so let's uh, start paper is as usual <laughs> watercolor paper 300 gsm uh, cold press and this piece is 15 times 20 centimeters you don't need a uh, uh, this uh, heavy watercolor paper if you don't have it but it needs to be watercolor it needs to hold a lot of water and i'm going to do it a little bit different this time i usually um, tape my piece down to a piece of glass but uh, this time i'm going to uh, kind of tape it down to uh, a piece of paper with uh, water so i'm uh, wetting both the back side and the front of this uh, of this piece just to to pin it down to the paper as you can see i've tinted the color a little bit so you can see what i'm doing um, it's just a lot of water both ways and it needs to be really really soaked with water before i, I start the background the background is made by Indothone Blue and uh, uh, Carbosol Violet and also some Indigo and Paints uh, Grey. If you don't have the same colors, just use dark uh, blue colors, some uh, dark grey or black and also some violet or uh, or um, purple. Uh, you could also use Elements Inks, water them down if you like. As you can see, I'm 
making the strokes both ways to uh, to make this uh, background and i also darkening the bottom half uh, bottom part of the uh, of the piece it needs to be very dark because i want it to be a a, a midnight scene i'm making a um, I, i'm separating the water and the land uh, part of this uh, piece and i'm also making some um, lines uh, that will be like uh, trees in the far distance uh, when it's uh, all uh, dry so you just need uh, it's it's just random making some uh, lines uh, across the um, across the uh, piece i'm gonna let this dry now and i'm gonna put on some music so uh, talk to you later just me popping in if you don't feel comfortable with doing this freehand like I'm doing uh, use the template uh, <laughs> that's a good tip and if you don't have white uh, gouache use white acrylic or even a white uh, gesso <laughs> just uh, just a tip so back to the music it's something fantastic wants to be And all the 
Hi, just me popping in. Uh, if you don't have these uh, pastel sticks or uh, pastel pencils, use uh, uh, an ordinary uh, colored pencil. That will be perfectly fine. <laughs> A shadow in the sun An ocean to the wind I cast this spell To call you in My aimlessness is done Kiss every scar on the journey of who you are. I want to excite you, ignite you, entice every cell.
on a journey without end. A trance in the mind You see a notion awaits Like sailors crossing lines Dancing on the waves Dancing with our fate So guys all finished and matted with some uh, black uh, cardstock. This was so fun to do and I really hope you enjoyed the uh, tutorial uh, with me. I wish you could see all the uh, silver glitter on it because it looks like the moon is shining on the grass and the trees and the, and the swan but it's so hard to catch on the uh, camera I'm sorry. Um, I really, really love this swan. I've been asking uh, Lavinia for a swan for a long time and finally it was here. And I've had this image in my head for a long, long time. I actually did a, uh, a watercolor picture uh, uh, with uh, a kind of this, um, uh, this uh, image with the trees, uh, woodland and this little pond and uh, a very lonely swan. Uh, so I do have kind of a reference um, um, picture for this. Usually I don't have any reference. Uh, I, I usually just uh, wing it as you know. But this time I did and I do hope you will uh, uh, give it a go. And as usual, if you are wondering about something, please PM me and I will answer you your questions as uh, soon as I can. And, uh, well, this was the first card in my series, uh, Magic and Mystery, and there will be at least uh, two more, maybe three, we will uh, see. But for now, have a nice week, do art, have fun, and see you next time. Bye-bye!